This is MSJ Chem, and in this video, I'm going to look at Hess's law. Hess's law states that the enthalpy change for a chemical reaction is independent of the route by which the chemical reaction occurs. So let's look at an example using an enthalpy cycle. So starting with reactants A, there's two ways we can make C. We can either go via B and then to C, or we can go straight from A to C. According to Hess's law, whichever route we go, the enthalpy change from A to C will be the same. So in equation form, delta H3, which is going straight from A to C, is equal to delta H1, which is A to B, plus delta H2, which is B to C. So whichever route we take to make our final product C, the enthalpy change is the same. So let's have a look at another enthalpy cycle. If we are given the values for delta H3 and delta H2, we can calculate the value for delta H1. Earlier, we saw this equation, delta H3 equals delta H1 plus delta H2. Next, if we plug in the values for delta H3 and delta H2, and then rearrange the equation, we can calculate the value for delta H1, which is negative 279 kilojoules per mole. Next, we look at another kind of problem that you'll get, which can be solved using Hess's law. So the standard enthalpy change of three combustion reactions is given below in kilojoules. First, we have the combustion of two moles of ethane, and that gives us an enthalpy change of negative 3,120 kilojoules. Then, we have the combustion of two moles of hydrogen gas to give us an enthalpy change of negative 572 kilojoules. And finally, we have the combustion of one mole of ethene to give us an enthalpy change of negative 1,411 kilojoules. So next, we'll use these three equations to calculate the standard change in enthalpy for the following reaction. So I'll keep the final reaction which we want to get at the bottom. So let's start with the first equation. Here we have two moles of ethane combusting in oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water. Our final equation has one mole of ethane on the left hand side. So we're going to divide this equation by two to give us three and a half moles of oxygen, two moles of carbon dioxide, three moles of water, and one mole of ethane. Because I've halved all the coefficients in the equation, I also have to halve the enthalpy change. So now we have negative 1560 joules. Let's look at the next equation. Here we have two moles of hydrogen reacting with one mole of oxygen to form two moles of water. In our final equation, we have one mole of hydrogen on the right hand side. So for the second equation, I've reversed it and I've halved it. So now we have one mole of water making one mole of hydrogen gas and half a mole of oxygen. Because I've reversed the equation and halved it, I need to reverse the sign of the enthalpy change from negative to positive and halve the value. So now we have plus 286 kilojoules. In the final equation, we have one mole of ethene reacting with three moles of oxygen to form two moles of carbon dioxide and two moles of water. In our final equation, we have one mole of ethene on the right hand side. So what we need to do is reverse the equation, which is what I've done here. And because I've reversed the equation, I've changed the sign from negative to positive. So what we do next is we cancel out all the things that are the same on the opposite side of the arrow. So we'll start with the oxygen. We have three and a half oxygens here. So that cancels out that half an oxygen and these three oxygens. Next, we'll do the water. So we have three moles of oxygen here, and this cancels with the one mole of oxygen here and the two moles of oxygen here. And finally, the carbon dioxide. We have two moles of carbon dioxide here, which cancels out the two moles of carbon dioxide here. And a final check, we're left with one mole of ethane, one mole of hydrogen, and one mole of ethene, which matches our final equation at the bottom. And finally, to calculate the enthalpy change for the reaction at the bottom, we add these three values together to give us an enthalpy change of positive 137 kilojoules. So those are the two kinds of problems that you're likely to get with Hess's law. 
so make sure you check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.